Wednesday. And this one is the New Orleans Bowl, of course, in the Superdome down in New Orleans, uh, Western Kentucky, and South Alabama. This is a fun one, a good G5 matchup. South Alabama, a four and a half point favorite. The total sits at 56 on this one. Uh, the only meeting between the two teams was in 2013. South Alabama won that one 31 to 24. Western Kentucky is 14 and six against the spread in their last 20 games. And now that is certainly a good record for Tyson Helton. South Alabama, look, this team went 10 and two this year, was right there, very close to winning the Sunbelt West Division. Uh, lost it by basically half a game, uh, the tiebreaker to South, uh, excuse me, to Troy. Uh, South Alabama 3-1-1 one, one against the spread in their last five games. They did not cover in the last game of the season. And where you start diving into the portal, et cetera, et cetera, th this is where it gets a little bit tricky, right? Because this number has been all over the place. It opened South Alabama at 3.5. It jumped out to 8 and 8.5 eight and at some places. And then, of course, you hear that Austin Reed, the quarterback for Western Kentucky, uh, he was in the portal. Now he's out of the portal. He's he's going to play from everything that I have seen uh, there. The biggest issue was there's only been 16 passes that Western Kentucky has attempted this year that were not attempted by him. So you, you're not looking at a ton of depth or at least not experienced depth. Uh, the issue for Western Kentucky with all the buyback now that Austin Reed is back in is that their starting offensive lineman uh, stats and Britain. Uh, those two are still in the portal. And they have not confirmed whether or not they are going to play in this game. So certainly something to pay attention to. Parker, I'm, I'm real curious uh, how you break these numbers down. Uh, you know, we've got uh, South Alabama had a three-headed monster at wide receiver. Uh, Voison, the, uh, the number three wide receiver, who still had over 700 yards, uh, he had his arm in a sling in the second half against Old Dominion. Uh, that, that defense that Kane Womack has, has put together is still awesome. Like, this is, this is really a fun fun matchup here how do you see this one breaking down i love this one this one's probably second only to utsa troy as fascinating g5 matchups for me um especially because both of them are relatively relatively full strength um again a very nice symmetry i just love symmetry in a game here we're going to get best on best western kentucky is 24th uh in offensive epa per play uh usa is 12th in off in defensive epa per play allowed USA is 40th in offensive EPA per play. Western Kentucky is 40th in uh, offensive EPA per play on, or defensive EPA per play. So kind of a nice mix of we'll get a best on best and then and then relatively weaker side of the ball when when uh, the Jaguars have the ball here. The matchup to watch is 100% um, Western Kentucky's pass offense against this uh, South Alabama pass defense. They're 15th in EPA per pass and they're 21st in EPA per rush. So they can really take away a lot of what you want to do. Um, and they've been pretty good at defending vertically, which is something Western Kentucky absolutely wants to do is spread the ball around. Uh, one thing to note is that Western Kentucky has been very good at generating quality possessions. They're 10th in echo rate, but they're 93rd in points per quality possession. They're not finishing those drives very well. Uh, whereas South Alabama's defense is 11th, holding opponents to just 3.25 points per quality possession. You think that's more than a field goal, but that's when you get a first down inside the 40, your expected points is like four something. Like they're giving you negative expected points when that happens. So um, really, really fun matchup here. Um, the line got a little bit too big. Uh, you know, if you could have smashed it when it was eight and maybe say this is going to be a little bit closer. I had this by about four points. Um, and so definitely would have liked to get that bigger line. With the, with the five points here, I think this is definitely just a, a watch a really good offense against a really good defense um, and, and, and maybe slightly lean towards the underdog. Yeah, I could uh, I could certainly certainly see that. Uh, it, another game where the strength of schedule, eh, uh, South Alabama number one nineteen, Western Kentucky number one twelve. Uh, Kyle, I want to bring you in here. I, I look at I look at this South Alabama defense and and what they stop really well, and it happens to be exactly what Western Kentucky does uh, the best on offense. Their number one Western Kentucky is in passing explosiveness on offense uh, since week eight. Well, South Alabama's defense is number twelve. So now how much of that is based on the matchups that they've already had? That's where you try and break this thing down. Uh, I'm curious which way you might be leaning in this one. Yeah, I mean, the line movement here has been uh, pretty extreme, like you said. 
Um, Austin Reed probably was expected to not play for a while now. I think he will play in this one. At least it sounds like it. Western Kentucky will be without two of their starting offensive linemen in this game and a tight end. So some guys missing for them. I like the balance of the South Bama defense. And while I think both teams are well coached, uh, Womack's done an amazing job with South Bama. I'm super impressed with the job he's done. Western Kentucky plus 10 turnover margin. That's led to some of their tighter wins there. Uh, I don't know how predictive that is long term. South Alabama, 75.3 penalty yards per game, third most in the country. So they are shooting themselves in the foot. Like you said, both of these two teams have played a terrible schedule, very weak schedule. It's kind of hard to to know what to think of them against good teams because they really didn't play good teams. You know, I, I do remember <laughs> South Alabama almost beat UCLA, which would have been a great win. Um, I think I would lean South Alabama in this game and lean the over thinking that uh, Western Kentucky will be able to score on South Alabama's defense, at least some, because South Alabama didn't face very many good offenses. And on the other side, the Western Kentucky defense, I don't really trust them to stop anybody. So uh, my, I think my strongest lean in this game would be the over, thinking that both teams have enough success. And we're only sitting a total of 56, which is just about the average college football total. Yeah, that does make sense. Uh, it's South, excuse me, Western Kentucky put up 27 on Troy's defense uh, earlier in the year. Yeah, I think they'd be able to put up some points here. I do like what uh, what Carter Bradley is doing on offense for South Alabama. I would have to lean South Alabama for sure. Uh, but I think this total really dropped when Austin Reed, you know, everybody thought that he was not going to play. It dropped from 61 and a half at open to 56. Uh, so maybe maybe a buyback opportunity here, especially in the Superdome where you don't have to worry about weather and you got a fast track. Uh, should be a fun, fun ball game.